Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to take a look at the rebuild series by R. Dunlap. One complaint I've always had about the settlements is half of them are so destroyed you can't even work with them. It makes sense that time took their toll, but now that they're populated again, my settlers should be fixing them up and not living in death traps. Luckily, a small team of modders thinks the same thing, and have been working hard turning the dilapidated settlements Bethesda gave us back to their former glory. You can either pick the ones you want, or grab an all-in-one ESP that contains all seven. The first settlement that gets a renovation is Croup Manor. The ghoul infestation has kept the raiders and scavengers from destroying the house over the years, but be prepared for a fight when you arrive since there are a lot more of them now. The holes in the roof and walls have been patched and the basement is still intact, so no quests are broken. You even get a deck with a nice view of the next settlement we're headed to. And that settlement is Kingsport Lighthouse. The massive hole in the roof is now patched up to make the second floor usable, and the side room makes a great bedroom. You lose a view of the night sky, but you also won't get many nuked in your sleep. The next settlement is the Coastal Cottage, which is one of the worst settlements in my opinion. There's nothing left of the house and the land is pretty much unbuildable. While this mod can't flatten the land, it'll make that pile of rubble into a house again. The garage now gets a roof, so it can be built into a nice workshop too. The best thing about this rebuild is the previous owner was a doomsday prepper. Search out back and you'll find a latch in the ground to explore your very own fall shelter. Our next stop is the Taffetan Boathouse. I've always liked this settlement. It has a nice wraparound deck and it's a pretty decent size. Unfortunately, like a lot of other settlements, the second floor is useless. With the roof all fixed up and some walls on the second floor, it makes the settlement worth building. Next up we have Somerville Place. If any settlement should have been repaired from the start, it's this one. Somerville Place reminds me a lot of the player home from Skyrim. It's small, quiet, and looks like it was built with the idea that I might want to call it my home. Unfortunately, I didn't because I like roofs over my head. Well, this mod fixes that problem. If you don't like quiet countryside living, check out the Jamaica Plain settlement. I personally don't understand why this was chosen as a settlement to begin with. It's pretty small and there are so many obstacles that building here is a challenge. This mod now reconstructs the shell of the building that once was. Once it's all put back together, you actually get a pretty decent sized living area. The best thing about this mall is the boarded up building out back. It now gets a makeover and has a door. The best thing about that door is it opens up into a whole new house, which doubles the living area of the settlement. Last but definitely not least is Spectacle Island. Let's be real for a second Bethesda. You gave us a whole island to build on, but then you gave us this. I don't even know what this is. I can't live in it, and to be honest, I don't even want to look at it. The guy at the bottom swam all the way here, took one look at it, and just shot himself in the head. Well, who could imagine it could look like this? Bethesda, take some notes, because this is what I want to live in. This thing is massive, and I can't wait to become a hermit on my very own island. Overall, I Dunlap and his team have done an amazing job at fixing up these elements. He's given us all a clean slate to work with, and doubled to triple the size of the living space in some of them. This is all made with vanilla game assets too, and should be compatible with just about everything. He even made the new walls and roof scrap proof, so people with mods like spring cleaning don't accidentally destroy them again. They all look great, they're lore friendly, and I haven't run into any major NPC pathfinding issues either. This is a must have mod for anyone who's at the settlement building, and I can't wait to see what he works on next. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, give it a like if you did and subscribe for more Fallout 4 mods. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.